Good morning, y'all. I am literally, I'm in a very awkward spot right now. I film over here often because it's, I get a lot of like natural light coming through this window, but I'm sitting on the bathtub, in the corner of the bathtub. I want to show you guys something. And I took off the filter that I normally use, um, the filter that just kind of like smooths the skin and gets rid of my melasma mustache. It's hard for me to look at. That's why I use it um, when I'm when I don't use the filter. That's all I see, and then I concentrate on that, and then I can't think of other stuff that I want to say. I know it's not terrible, but it is what it is. Just bear with me there. Um, speaking of my melasma and my dark spots, I you guys know I went to get an IPL treatment from Hannah Lucifer Laser, and she hit this spot here, and then this spot here which have faded tremendously she wanted to do my entire face but i was too scared um so we rescheduled my entire face for uh, i go in a couple weeks we're going to do the whole thing but oh my god the ipl helped so much on these two spots i'm going to see if i can find a before photo of these two spots but she'll hit it again and i they will be gone i know they will so i go back to see her in a couple weeks to do our, my entire face but <laughs> I wanted to show you guys a product I've been using and okay I've been using Charlotte Tilbury everything y'all know I love the pillow talk lipstick I love her bronzer um I love her perfecting powder flawless powder I forget what else do I use of hers her setting spray I have I love her lip liners um Anyway, I started using the Flawless Filter. This stuff can be worn alone, it can be worn under foundation, and it can be worn on top of foundation. I am, and I always have been, a super matte girl. I don't like a dewy look on myself, only because I have oily skin. So, like, if you know, you know. If you have oily skin, whoo, girl, you know what it's like. Okay, I brought a little chair in here. Like, all I see right now is my melasma mustache, okay? And I did start using the muesli cream. A little over a year, a year ago and that stuff helped so much so i don't i you can only imagine how bad my upper lip was my god ah! but this stuff you just boop, boop, boop. and i kind of like put it on the areas where i would bro what did i just do here <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying in the last uh, thing that I filmed, but I'm not a dewy person because I have oily skin. Like, look how beautiful this is. This, it's so beautiful. I have nothing else on. I have my sunscreen on and I'm gonna put foundation on over. Like. I don't know if y'all can see just like the super subtle glow that it's giving me, but not, not like a highlighter. It's not, it is literally, it's called the Hollywood Flawless Filter and I, that's what I feel like it is, a filter. I'm going to put some foundation over top of it, which I don't need to. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. Let me start my camera over so y'all can. I was telling Sister Lauren about it this weekend, but then we never put it on her. And I'm just putting um, foundation over top. And y'all, let, let me tell you, the foundation I use is the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect, which if you've been around, you know it's my favorite. It's a super matte, full coverage foundation. Y'all, they're discontinuing it. I went and bought seven more bottles but, I mean, they're all going to be expired by the time I get around to using them. I don't even care. Do y'all see this? The, fl the flawless, the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter is coming through the foundation, but it is such a subtle, beautiful glow. Just makes you look fresh face, fresh faced and dewy and just, I love it. But this is 1,000% my new favorite product. I will link it. I don't, I mean, it sells out all the time. The, the last two times I went to buy it before I actually purchased it, they were sold out. Um, every time they stock the shelves with this stuff, it sells out. And then you can, so I just put foundation over top of it. And see, it's just a subtle glow. You can add it on top of your foundation. 
uh, once you're done. If you want more of a glow, like a highlight on your uh, cheekbones or whatever you want um, without it looking cakey or, or crappy or... I just, oh my God, I love, perfect for summer, that summer glow, you know? The only thing that kind of stinks about it is that you cannot use the shade finder tool like you can with their foundations uh, on Sephora's website. So you just kind of guess what you would like. Again, it doesn't have to match perfectly because it's not a foundation. You wear it underneath foundation or by itself, but it's not that kind of coverage. Um, so I've got light medium. They offer a wide range of shades, which is great. We don't all have the same damn skin tone, uh, but just kind of guess. I got light medium. I have olive skin and I think it, I think the shade I got works well. So Kayla and I are going to go on our walk. I'm going to go, we're meeting each other right now, but I found a picture of my skin before I started treating my spots, which I will show y'all a little bit later. And it's insane. We just got done with our walk and it's been like two weeks since we've walked. It's been a little over two weeks, I think, since we've walked. And it is insane how much I felt that walk. <laughs> like out of shape. What the hell? And I haven't been on the bike. I'm riding the bike tonight too. I told you guys I was going to get back on it starting today. I grabbed me a midday square. I love these things. Keep popping them in the fridge. These things, well, this is the fudge, yeah. But it's organic plant-based superfoods made with real chocolate 12 grams of protein 8 grams of fiber all the nutritional content of like a protein bar but without all the crap and i have a co with them which i think it's mary beth i think it's just mary beth if you guys want to try these out they have a ton of great flavors i love their peanut butter flavor it's called like bust a peanut <laughs> uh yeah these things are freaking awesome there's only 160 calories good stuff so if you guys want to try them out go ahead and swap it I told y'all my next project is going to be refinishing a piece of furniture. I miss doing it. I love doing it. Um, but the weather was really bad the last time I went to do it. And I was going to do the piece of furniture that was in my apartment. Which is this pink one. I'm, I was going to refinish that. But I think I'm going to do... Luke just showed me. Well, he didn't just show me. He has this beauty and he has a matching nightstand, but only one, which bums me out. I'm going to have to remove the top, but that's fine. Which one do you think I should do? If I do this one, I can put it in our uh, bedroom. I can replace that uh, buffet that I have up there and put this. I'd rather this one be up there anyway. But my next question is, what do I do to the dresser? Do I stain it? Do I take it down to its natural raw wooden state and stain it? Or do I paint it? I personally want to stain it. Or maybe not even stain it, but do like a patinaed. A s I'm thinking like West Elm Pottery Barn creamy patina, but not. I can't really explain this. Let me show you the look that I'm thinking in my head, what I want to do. I want to show you guys something. So one of my buddies that I grew up with, Craig, taught me this trick. When you have a bag of like, this is the world's largest bag of popcorn. But when you have like a chip bag and instead of using a clip or doing this that just opens right back up, you take it at the top and just start rolling like down the one side that you have that I'll show you so you just grab and start pulling in the back down the one side it won't open
So funny story about those whitening strips that I reshared just a little bit ago. I reshared that story of the whitening strips. I gave my sister, I gave Sister Lauren a box to take home for her to try. And today she sent me a picture. She opened the box and it was empty. I gave her an empty box of whitening strips. These, the Lumino whitening strips. Uh, if you guys want to try them, <laughs> I have a code MB15 for 15% off. They are they're safe for your enamel. They're peroxide free, bleach free, and there's no sensitivity. So if you guys want to try them, MB15, you can swipe up and try them out. I do have a question for everybody. Are y'all like water snobs? And when I say water snobs, I mean like bottled water snobs. Like, is there a... First off, can you taste a difference between bottled waters? I can't at all. All water tastes the same to me, except for, like, bottled water tastes the same to me. Tap water can step off. I hate tap water. And I don't like water that comes out of the refrigerator. I don't like the water that comes out of our refrigerator. Um, but I cannot tell a difference between bottled water. And I know that a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people can, but I can't. I don't know if this works, but it feels good. And it just like doing it on the back of my.